Like finding out why flight attendants never drink the coffee on board aircraft, range anxiety is terrifying. But it doesn't have to be. Thinking about getting an electric vehicle, but you're freaked out by making the switch? Well, don't worry. EV Basics is here to get you up to speed. And today we're talking about range anxiety, something that many drivers worry about, and rightfully so. Range anxiety is the fear of running out of juice in an electric vehicle and not being able to make it to your destination or to a charger. This is a major challenge, mostly because of how long it takes EVs to recharge. I mean, you can't just fill a bucket with electricity and then pour it into your car's battery like a fuel tank. Last I checked, it doesn't work that way. That's not how it works, right? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Unlike internal combustion powered vehicles that can be topped up in just minutes, EVs have to recharge, which depending on the model and power source can take anywhere from just a spell to forever and a day. If you run an electric vehicle to empty and you're not near a charger, you're also out of luck. If your drive home isn't downhill, you're going to need a tow or at the very least, an EV rescue charger. Range anxiety is a real concern, but there are a few simple things you can do that make it basically a non-issue. Here are some EV Pulse certified tips and tricks so you can drive an electric vehicle without bricks. I like how that rhymes. It's really nice. Okay, above everything else, our number one suggestion is this. Get an EV with more range than you think you need. If you frequently drive to your cabin and it's, say, 200 miles away, don't get an electric vehicle that can go 250 miles between charges. Yes, that technically works and will probably be fine, but if you can afford it, get the model or trim that offers, say, 300 miles of range. That extra buffer gives you flexibility. If the weather's freezing, you have to take a detour because of a crash or road construction, or if your vehicle is overloaded with cargo, you might have trouble reaching your destination without charging along the way, and that is no fun. Speaking of frigid weather, if you can, look for an EV with a heat pump based HVAC system. This is our second tip. In the cold, these designs are much more efficient than resistive heaters, which work like hair dryers and gobble up electricity. Regardless of the HVAC system employed, cold weather negatively impacts EV range, but heat pumps can make a big difference in how far you can go between charges. Suggestion number three for reducing range anxiety is to pay attention to the wheels and tires your electric vehicle comes with. Believe it or not, these components have a massive effect on range. Don't believe me? Well, here's some food for thought, a little snack. The high-performance BMW i4 M50 Grand Coupe is EPA rated at 270 miles of range when fitted with 19-inch wheels. It's not too shabby. Then what happens when you opt for 20s? Well, a lot. The estimated range plummets to just 227, a difference of 43 miles just because of the wheels and tires. It's the same story with the Audi e-tron S. When fitted with 20 inch rollers, this all electric utility vehicle offers 208 miles of range. But if you get 21s or 22s, that estimate drops to just 181 miles. The moral of the story is this, keep an eye on the wheels and tires your EV comes with because it really matters. Hey, for more information about electric vehicles, check out our EV Basics playlist, where you will find additional explainer videos like this one. Also, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the EV Pulse YouTube channel. It helps us out so much. Thanks again. Remember the main! Of all the armored cruisers that sunk in Havana Harbor and sparked the Spanish-American War, it is pretty much my favorite. When driving an EV, you should also remember the weather. Cold temps have a huge impact on batteries, which can really ratchet up range anxiety. Basically, be aware that if it's cold, your EV will not go as far between charges. Internal combustion powered vehicles also see efficiency reductions in the cold, so it's not just an EV problem, even if it impacts them significantly more. There are loads of variables to consider, but according to testing done by AAA, in 20 degree Fahrenheit weather, 
electric vehicle range was reduced by up to 41% when the heater was cranked up. That's obviously a huge reduction, so plan your trips accordingly. As mentioned earlier, getting a vehicle fitted with a heat pump can help minimize range reduction in cold conditions, as can scheduling a departure time, our number five tip. To mitigate cold conditions, park your EV in a garage if you can. Beyond that, when old man winter bears his icy fangs, try to schedule a departure time. This is a feature many electric vehicles offer, and it's one that can really improve efficiency. If you leave for work every day at, say, 7.30 a.m., you can tell your EV to be ready when you are. It can have the battery warmed up for improved range, and it can have the climate system dialed into your desired settings. You want the seat heater on full blast and the defroster set at 68 degrees? That is an option. Best of all, it does this using electricity from your house instead of depleting the battery. To help reduce range anxiety in cold weather, shop for an EV that offers schedulable departure times. Your anxiety and extremities will thank me. But now I have to thank our sponsor, Ytricity. You connect to the internet without a cable and you can wirelessly charge your smartphone. Why do you still have to plug in your EV? Well, the truth is you don't. Wireless charging technology from Ytricity makes electric vehicle ownership simpler and far more convenient. Just park and your EV starts charging automatically. There are no bulky cables or clunky connectors to wrestle with. The system is also safer than plugging in, and it's just as efficient as level two charging with a cable. You're going to want Ytricity wireless charging in your next EV, so for more information, follow the link on screen or in the description box below. Helping assuage range anxiety, our final tip is preparation. In fact, you can call on Captain Plan It if you need a hand, he's taking disorder down to zero. Charge! Road tripping in an EV can be stressful, especially in less densely populated regions because there are fewer charging stations and you never really know whether they're going to work as advertised. We've seen it plenty of times. Planning your drive and, if possible, being aware of alternate charging locations can make life a whole lot easier when you're far from home. Of course, many EVs offer automatic route planning that does most of the work for you, but it's still a good idea to verify where you need to stop and charge before hitting the road. Services like a better route planner, yes, that's what it's called, are highly recommended. Additionally, apps like PlugShare use crowdsourced data so you know if a charger is working or not. And if you haven't already, it's also a super smart idea to install smartphone apps for the charging networks you need to use and then sign up for their services beforehand. That way you're not forced to register for ChargePoint, EVgo, Electrify America, or Craig Cole's definitely not going to steal your credit card number network while you're waiting to juice up your vehicle. Our app is now available for Windows Phone. Teslas are incredibly smart at route planning, probably the best in the business, and with the automaker's unrivaled supercharger network, driving long distances in a Muskmobile is nearly as convenient as with an ICE vehicle. I'm critical of this automaker in some ways, but they have worked very hard to make DC fast charging seamless, not just another EV pain point. So that'll do it for this installment of EV Basics, and what did we learn today? Well, to help mitigate range anxiety, you should get an EV that can go more miles on a charge than you think you need. Getting a vehicle with a heat pump based HVAC system is a great idea. Wheels and tires have a massive impact on range. Weather conditions matter a whole lot too. You should schedule your departure times to maximize range. And finally, plan out any long drives so you don't roll up with 1% in the battery to a charger that was decommissioned years ago. Range anxiety is a major concern, but common sense and a few simple steps can make the electric life much more enjoyable. Plus, things are only going to get better as the charging infrastructure improves and battery technology advances. For EV Pulse, I am Craig Cole. Thank you again for watching. Like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and check out my charging app coming to WebOS very soon. It's Windows Phone as well. I just wanted to tell them WebOS. We're going to support that platform. Mm-hmm. For the palm phones. <laughs>